We do want to get you updated on this now state of emergency that's been declared here in Michigan after the first two cases of coronavirus were confirmed. Yes, that state of emergency declared by Governor Whitmer to harness resources in order to contain the virus and stop the spread. Nick Monticelli joins us now live from the newsroom with more. Nick, good morning. Good morning to both of you. The challenge, though, is that despite best efforts, they're almost guaranteeing that this is going to spread, saying that it's not a matter of if or when, it's just how fast it's going to happen. And all of them urging communities and leaders and even us individuals to do what we can to take our precautions and try to help out. We're here today because we have identified the first presumptive positive case of coronavirus in Michigan. Last night, the governor announcing two confirmed cases of coronavirus in Michigan. One case is a woman from Oakland County who traveled internationally. The other is a man in Wayne County who traveled domestically. Both are in the hospital and are described as middle-aged. The Wayne County executive saying this patient in Wayne County is currently under isolation. Our public health division is working to identify individuals who may have come into close contact with the patient so we can take appropriate steps and monitor them closely. Oakland County's leader adding Oakland County and our health division will investigate the circumstances around this case so we understand if there are any potential close contacts. We must all as individuals and communities continue our prevention and preparedness strategies as we hope for a full recovery for this member of the community. As mentioned, the tedious job of retracing these patients' movements is just starting, trying to figure out who else could be exposed. These are the first known cases of COVID-19 here in the state of Michigan. It is very likely that we will see more cases and that there will be community spread. Governor Whitmer has declared a state of emergency, which will free up funds and resources to combat the spread of this virus. There is a, a lot of authority within that. Moving forward with the task forces, I believe that we will have probably some additional steps that we'll be able to share with you tomorrow. And as details are sorted out, state leaders anticipate organizations to begin making their own plans. All businesses, employers, hospitals, schools and universities should be making plans and appropriately preparing for this disease. Another question that was asked yesterday is if the state will force the cancellation of major events. The governor is saying that she will make those decisions on a case-by-case -case basis, just trying to keep Michiganders safe. A couple of highlights, though. We know the Zach Brown Band, a country band, has postponed their tour. They were scheduled to play at Little Caesars Arena on Saturday. Another major event, the New York Auto Show, has been postponed. Everett and Rhonda, I think in the next coming days or weeks, you're going to see major cancellations at universities and, and other places just saying they're trying to be extra uh, careful and take extra precautionary measures trying to do their part to stop the spread of this virus in our area.